In this video, I'll review the five most common etiquette mistakes in wedding planning. I'm gonna tell you what traditional etiquette says about these subjects, and you can always go against traditional etiquette, but it'll serve you well to do that knowingly. Breaking etiquette on purpose feels much better than finding out you broke it on accident. In my business, I refer to the Emily Post Wedding Etiquette Guide as my go-to resource. I give the same advice as Emily Post on all the wedding parts and details and how they should go. Here are five areas where people frequently break or disregard etiquette. First is the ceremony processional. The order of the processional goes by this rule. The people closest to the bride should be closest to her in the lineup. That's why the mother of the bride is traditionally the last parent to walk down the aisle. And the maid of honor is the last attendant to walk down the aisle. Often couples will assume that the order doesn't really matter and that they can choose to rearrange the order to accommodate real life couples or logistical concerns. No that the way you are ordering your processional may have meaning to your family or to the attendees. So if you're gonna change it and go out of order, no big deal, but it might be considerate to give an explanation to those who've been placed outside of the traditional order. Traditional etiquette dictates that the bride enters on her father or other special person's right side, even though the females usually stand on the left side of the male. So if the bridesmaids, they stay to the left of their escort, but the bride stands to the right of her dad. It will make the handoff easier for the bride, especially if she has a large train. For specific advice on how to order your wedding processional, check out this video. Second, formal dances need some direction on etiquette. The newly married couple shares the first dance. That's pretty standard across the board. What happens next is not as black and white. So the second dance involves parents and most commonly in American weddings, the bride's gonna dance with her dad and in the next dance, the groom is gonna dance with his mom. In some traditions, the dance is combined. So the mother of the groom dances with the groom alongside the bride and her father. The problem is when the custom of the two couples' families is different. So like if the groom's family expects that there's gonna be two dances and the bride thinks there's gonna be one, there's just a lot of sentiment and emotion in that moment. And if the mom, the groom, had been expecting to dance with her son to a certain song and then, you know, she doesn't get it and, and it's upsetting, you just wanna check in with both sets of parents and kind of figure out what their expectations are and try to accommodate those if you can comfortably do so. The third mistake is skipping out on the parents personal floral. There's no requirements for purchasing floral as it, you know, relates to etiquette. In fact, I've seen really beautiful weddings with no personal floral. The only time I've seen people caught off guard or offended by floral is when, you know, like a big wedding party all gets a boutonniere and a corsage or a bouquet, but then like the father of the groom doesn't get one. So you might decide against doing floral for the parents without letting them know. And then on wedding day, when I'm distributing floral, I'm feeling the comments about like, hey, why did and I get one I paid for this or you know it's my son so again check their expectations but it's not an expensive add-on you know you're looking at 12 15 dollars for another boutonniere so it's okay if you don't want to do it but you should try to be intentional about it and not accidentally forget someone the best case scenario is just if you've got a you know, give people a heads up. The fourth mistake relates to greeting guests. So etiquette says that the couple should greet each and every guest. You can have a traditional receiving line or you can do table visits where the couple visits each table, says hello, welcomes their guests. It's informal and a lot of guests won't even notice that you're doing it, but it's important that when you're planning your reception, you put some time in to make sure that you have said hello to each person who came. And the final most common etiquette mistake is about how long your guests can go before you feed them a meal. So guests want to eat unless they are entertained by something else. So many couples will wait to serve entrees until after the first dances. However, when the couple wants some extended post-ceremony pictures and then they do a sweetheart meal, it can really push back dinner time too far. So here's a good rule of thumb. Think about when you fly. Flights over two hours usually will provide you a meal. So after two hours, people need more than a light snack. So never let more than two hours pass from the time your guests arrive at your ceremony to when they're eating a meal. You know, you're thinking that's when they get to your ceremony. So if your ceremony starts at 6.30, but your prelude starts at six, then people probably get there at six so they're not late. Then you've got like an hour and a half after the 6.30 ceremony start time. Keep in mind that my goal is just help you avoid unintentionally breaking tradition, but I stand by choices of people who wanna do it a little bit differently. Etiquette has a place and a purpose and, you know, it's to show consideration and respect for others and to make for a comfortable environment. But 
for each couple, certain traditions can actually do the opposite. So following a tradition could be uncomfortable or even hurtful to a couple or their loved ones. So in those cases, traditional etiquette should be broken. If you take only one thing from this video, let it be this. It's not about following etiquette rules. It's about knowing what they are. Then you just do what you wanna do. Have a wedding that is customary to you and your fiance and the traditions of your family. Thank you so much for watching and happy wedding planning.